Welcome to IRS V2.0, a web-based visual analytics system for bridge management. If you go to irsv.uncc.edu, you will see this main interface pop in your web browser. As the login interface showed up, please input all the necessary information. Once you proceed the login, you'll be prompted with the IRSV Bridge Management System Information window. In this window, you can find all the necessary descriptions of our project, the current version of IRSV 2.0, and different basic concepts that will introduce you to our IRSV system. IRSV utilizes your web browser as a desktop manifold. So on the left, you can see there is a structure list which shows you all different structure types we have been captured in the database. And on the bottom, you can see for original data, where we are looking at Charlotte Bridge data from 2006, 2004, and 2002. As you see, if we open a recommend workspace, a four visualizations is showed up here. As you can see here, we have scatter plot view, we have parallel coordinate view, we have structure comparison view, as well as we have geospatial view. All these views are coordinated through colors and interactions. Geospatial view is the most common entry view for bridge analysis. As we show here, we connect all the bridge data into Google Map that would provide you a rich interactive GIS system. So as you see here, each dot represents a bridge. And the heat map, which is a color-coded bubble around the dot, means how good the sufficient rating of a bridge is. So you can see the commerce of color means the good bridge. And if you can see here, there's some bridge that is market fair. So the bubble around it will show that the intensive warmer color. As you zoom in, you can focus on different bridge and see their individual conditions as well as these locations that this bridge is located at. Parallel coordinate view, as shown here, is built into the system to show different correlations between multiple bridge dimensions. Each vertical line here represents a single bridge dimension, and horizontal lines represent a bridge. So as you can see here, if you select multiple bridge lines, all the lines will be aggregated into one, and then you can see different attributes of a single bridge by mousing over each horizontal line. You can also select a range of bridge data. For example, we are selecting a bridge deck geometry value less than 8, and you can see all different bridges that falls into that category, as well as if you move the lowest bound of this bridge deck geometry above 1, you can start filtering different bridges that uh, according to your analysis demand. As you can see, while we select different ranges on the parallel quadrant view, our scatterplot view also get updated according to the different bridge that we have been selected. As you can see here, we're looking at bridge versus the fishing rating, which gives us a rough idea about how the bridges we're looking at distributed on their present condition. We can also change this sufficient rating to whatever dimensions we want to look at that is embedded into the bridge database. Also, we have comparison analysis that present for different bridges. A comparison analysis is a stati statistical method that we enforce in IRSV to look at the correlations among different bridge dimensions. As you can see here, the sub substructure has a very tight correlation with their superstructures, which indicates if superstructure got damaged, it is more likely that a substructure will need attention as well. All these four dimensions or all these four visualizations are helping bridge managers to look at bridge from different aspects and allow them to coordinately select different uh, bridge to focus on and to direct their attentions to prioritize their bridge management situation. Beyond this, we also allow bridge managers to collect evidence that we use to support their analysis. 
For example, you can simply drag and drop different visual representations into this analytical reporting view. In all, IRSV provides you a comprehensive analysis interface to manage and prioritize bridge maintenance processes.